it's Fran. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys my current makeup products that I really just have not been loving lately. Just I really don't like and I just really have not been like vibing with. Like they've been sitting in my drawer and need to be thrown out because they're wasting space and I just need to get rid of them, so thought I'd make a video about it. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any other future videos. But if you guys want to see all the products that I don't like, then just keep watching. I don't want to miss a beat. Also guys, just a disclaimer before I start this video, if any of these products you actually like and they actually work for you, that's great. Keep using them. But they just didn't work for me and I just don't like them. I feel like a lot of products are so different and like they may work for one person, they might not work for another person. I think it just really depends so I'm not trying to offend anyone. Alright guys, so let's just start off with the first product. So the first product is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Loose Setting and Mattifying Powder. So what I don't like about this, it makes my under eyes look super dry and cakey. It looks like dry as a fucking desert dry. Like it was so dry. Like my under eyes... It was awful. And then it started to crease. Um, I don't know if it was the combination between the concealer and the powder, because sometimes concealers and powders don't mix. Like the powder could be like the best thing ever, but the concealer is not, and that's maybe why it's like kind of separating or looking creasy. Um, I don't know, sometimes certain products just don't mix well. Um, for the first week I was using it, I was like iffy about it. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this powder. Like, it's like, eh, it's like not the best powder I've ever tried. I kept using it. As you can tell, I've used like almost the whole thing. I think I just like kept wanting to use it because I was like, I paid like maybe 45 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't know how much this is. I don't know why I just didn't decide to return it. Really don't know. Um... <laughs> Maybe I was trying to get my money's worth. I don't know. Then I started taking like photos um, for like videos and just like my makeup and stuff for like Instagram. I'll put a link to my Instagram down below if you guys want to follow me. And I was noticing I was getting a lot of flashback. My face looked like a fucking ghost, like flashback Mary ghost. Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful like I was like oh my god and I was realizing it was this powder if you guys don't know certain powders will give like a flashback when you use flash photography um some powders don't I don't know what whatever's in it like certain ingredient in it creates that like white cast I will never <laughs> repurchase this ever like I feel like this should be taken off the market it's like the worst product ever it makes your under eyes dry it gives you flash photography by all means if you are like very oily for some reason under your eyes this could be for you but it's not for me and I literally hate it so much it's definitely going in the trash goodbye cancel right, um the next product is it's an eyeshadow palette I think this is the only eyeshadow palette that I really don't like so this is the beach cosmetics take me back Brazil palette, this palette, the iconic palette that was like way overhyped. Like everyone was hyped this up so much. Online, it looks so big. In person, look how tiny this palette is. Like it's so small, so small. And the eyeshadow pans are even smaller. Like I've used this like once or twice, and the first time it was like okay. I tried to use this today and I literally took it off like I hated it the first time it was not bad I was like mm, it's like okay but it's not like morphe quality I was using the yellow colors today and it was looking hella patchy it's not like I wasn't using a primer I used a primer it was so patchy it was not blending out well it was like skipping I feel like this palette is way too overhyped and it's not even that good the quality really isn't there I'd rather just use a Jeffree Star palette. The next product is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. 
So, um, this was like really hyped like a long time ago. I feel like the coverage really isn't there. I feel like this is a really like watery consistency. If I remember correctly, their like color range or like is really not that extended. Like they don't have a lot of shades. Like, like their light is like way too light. It's like white like the fucking wall light. And I feel like it just like really isn't that full coverage. If you like like a more like light coverage, maybe this is for you, but I can't really, I can't like put my finger on it. What was the real reason like I didn't like it? I think it was just because of the coverage wasn't there. I'm more of like a full coverage bitch. Like it needs to stay on all day long, no creasing, nothing. I feel like I found better like drugstore foundations than this and it's just like, no, don't like it. All right, the next thing is the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette. So what I don't like about it, I feel like it was very, cause like there's like, they're like all like of a cream based like highlighter. I was so excited because I've heard really good things about Sleek. I feel like Manny MUA, like I think I saw one of his videos, he used like a certain one by Sleek, but it wasn't this, I'm pretty sure. It wasn't this palette. They're all like cream based. I feel like putting this on on top of your foundation, it just like doesn't work well. I feel like it separates, it, may, it picks up your foundation and kind of removes it, moves your foundation around. This over a powder does not work. But yeah, I just really didn't like it. Then the next one is by Urban Decay, the Beached Bronzer. So let's watch this and see what it looks like. I forgot. But it's very like sheer. What I did not like about this is it looked very muddy and like orange on my skin. I looked like an Oompa Loompa. I was like, girl. I don't know, I feel like this isn't like a good bronzer. I found better ones by like Makeup Forever and I feel like that's like the best one I've ever like tried. All right, the next thing is by, I for, I always forget how to pronounce it. I think it's called Co Cosmetics. This is the Powder Zero, it's like just like a setting powder. So what my problem with is this, it is so powdery like I've used it like once or twice I really it looks too powdery and cakey and then the shade I think this is supposed to be just like a universal color I'm pretty sure for just everyone it's supposed to be like a translucent color so I've used this on people who are a little bit darker than me and it looks like it looks like baby powder on their face like it just like doesn't it look makes them look very like ashy or gray and I just feel like the color of this is just not right it's just like way too white super cakey the next thing is the NYX vivid brights liquid liners so the one thing I don't like about them I have three of them here. Um, after you put it like on your lid or wherever, they dry down so fast, especially the white one. The white one is like the worst. And like it cracks, like especially if you're putting like a white eyeliner like in the crease or just like on your like waterline, it cracks so fast and you have to keep applying it. And it's especially hard if you're like trying to take a picture of your makeup and it keeps cracking and it's looking awful. It's like literally the worst thing ever. I'm really trying to find some like colored liquid eyeliners or even just a white liquid eyeliner that doesn't like crack. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section down below. All right, then the next thing is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is the color corrector. This is in the color orange. This is what it looks like when you apply it. Then you just blend it out with a brush, beauty blender, sponge, whatever you want to use to blend it out. I feel like then when you go in with your foundation, it's very hard to cover it. I feel like you have to apply a couple layers to cover this orange because it's that like 
pigmented. Like it's good that it's pigmented, but I feel like you just can't really cover it. Like I said, it's not like I'm using like um, medium or a light coverage foundation. I use full coverage foundation. So it's like, why is it not covering? And I just feel like color correcting really just like, I feel like it didn't really help me or do anything or change the way of my makeup. I feel like I could benefit from color correcting under my eyes because my dark circles are so bad. But I just feel like it's kind of like a waste of time. I feel like, yeah, if you're gonna be like at an event or like you're taking like a lot of photos, I feel like color correcting is very important. But I feel like it's just like every day where like I feel like color correcting is really not that important. All right, we have a couple products left. Um, so the next product is by It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. So if any of you guys actually watch a lot of my like beauty videos, I have been using this for the longest time ever. Like this was actually like my holy grail foundation foundation concealer I talked about this in like almost every like beauty video that I did recently I just have not been loving it I don't like it it actually looks super dry under my eyes and it looks wet like if you use too much of this it looks wet like I'm just not a fan of it it's actually like the worst concealer ever now I don't know if they like reformulate it or what or I'm using way too much. I would use like a dot under my eyes and it would look wet. And then I would set it with like my regular powder that I use and it started looking very dry, dry like a fucking desert. Like an hour after like I applied everything, it would start to crease like right like along the lash line. It looked awful. And I was like, what is happening? I've never had this problem before. So I was using the Maybelline Fit Me um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I've been using that for the last like couple months. And I'm like, okay, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the powder and the concealer just like really don't mix well together. I'm not sure. But like, I just feel like this is way too heavy for my under eyes. Yeah. I'm just like not a fan of it. And then the next thing is the Lime Crime in the color Babette. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand, but I think it's online only. I think now Ulta is starting to carry a couple of their stuff. So this is just a vegan lipstick. I'll swatch it for you guys. That is what this one looks like. I don't know, I'm just like not really a fan of it, especially comparing it to Jeffree Star's lipsticks. It's just not that good. Um, I don't really like the color. I don't really like really pink lipsticks anymore. Like I like like a good like nudish pink, like something like this. Like it's pink, but it's not like really light where it like blends in with my skin. Right. And then the next thing is the MAC Single Eyeshadow. This is in the color, I, I can't even read it, it's that old. I don't know. We're just gonna show you. It's this like really dark like purple. I don't know if it's because I've had this for so long but it is chalky as hell. Like it's hard to get in there. You have to like really like dig in there. That is with like two or three swatches. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meow. <laughs> um, he's like feed me mom. It's really effing sheer like um, it has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but like you really have to like dig in there and that is with my finger. Um, it just is very sheer, kind of chalky. Um, I don't really like it. I'm not a huge fan of MAC products. I only like like a, a few things from them, um, but other than that I mostly use Morphe and like Jeffree Star. I think those are like my top places her eyeshadow. I feel like nothing really compares to their quality. I feel like All right, and then I think the last one is by Revlon. This is the Color Burst Matte Balm. And then I will swatch this for you guys. So this is what it looks like. I used to love these. These were, were like my holy grail. It's more of like a crayon and I just feel like it was very hard to be very precise with it because it is a very like that tip, that sounds so weird, really did not dry down. It says matte balm and I feel like it really just means like, it's like a more like 
Like it's like moisturizing. It's like a lipstick, but it's not it's not gonna be like matte. It's more of like a cream yes, a creamier consistency. So it's not gonna dry down like a matte lipstick or like a liquid lipstick would. Alright guys, so that was it for all the products I currently hate. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys want to see my current favorite makeup products, comment down below. I will film that for you guys if you guys are interested, but I will see you guys in my next video.